This case is called senile atrophy endometrium. Well, by today's standards, uh, this would be considered non-PC because uh, it's not really nice to call people senile or to say they have atrophy like it's a disease because this is what occurs in all uh, remotely postmenopausal women. Here's a normal endometrium. Normally the endometrium could be, oh, perhaps a couple millimeters thick, perhaps five or six millimeters thick during the secretory phase. But here, once again, you could see a fairly good amount of glands relative to the stroma, some of them going into the superficial myometrial layers, and then, as always, the majority of the thickness of the uterus is the myometrium. Look at the upper slide over here. If you go from here to here, it looks like the entire thickness is myometrium. It doesn't look like there's endometrium at all. But look, you can see just a few little glands here, not nearly as abundant or thick as in the lower field. And this is what happens uh, in old age uh, with prolonged remote estrogen withdrawal. You can only see some few remnants of endometrial glands left. There's a very uh, scanty stroma as well. And this is, uh, oh, I guess by today's standards, the word police would not allow you to call it senile atrophy because it doesn't imply the woman is senile or atrophy being a abnormal process. This is a normal process of old age. Let's go a little bit higher on these glands if we can. And it looks like we can't, but let's just remember this is a normal process. Thank you very much.